Ian here again from FPV Power. Just going to um, go through a few facts and tech details in regards to paralleling your batteries in parallel. Having two batteries joined together to increase the capacity. Um, we have a 17 and a half amp hour that we sell. And we also have the smaller brother, the 7 amp hour. So these are the two sizes. So the question has been asked, um, is paralleling batteries good? Is there any downside to it? Um, can they damage each other when you do that? Uh, can, can we mix and match? So I'm going to go through the scenario of equal capacity battery in parallel, as well as over here, different capacity batteries in parallel. So I'm going to go through it and hopefully they will clear things up. First of all is there's nothing wrong and there's no drawbacks, no downside by connecting two batteries in parallel whether it be the same capacity as per this diagram or which we'll cover later of different capacity as long as you have them of the same voltage so voltage is not an issue here because all our batteries are 12 volt to run all your kayak equipment your sounder your lights etc you know so 12 volts 12 volts 12 volts 12 volts so let's go on the first scenario, you've got two 17, you've got two of our 17 and a half amp hour batteries in parallel, therefore your capacity is 35,000 milliamps or uh, 35 amp hour in 12 volt configuration, so 12 volts. So with that, when you parallel, we need to look at how does the battery, how do they discharge, what's the reaction that's going on between the point of the load to the individual batteries for example we're going to put a 6 amp load on our battery let's say this is your 6 amp load once you fire everything up so 6 amp load being the same capacity at 12 volt guess what they're both seeing 3 amps each so these will both draw at 3 amps each and they'll discharge at the same level going down so 12, points, 12 volts as it discharges you get 11 volts 10 volts 9 volts they're going to be both be discharged at the same rate going down, okay? So both full, both discharging at the very same rate to finished. So once you finish your fishing trip or once you finish, once you unplug it, unplug your load, get a tester, test them. They'll be both at the same voltage because battery will always equalize and you'll always be, and by it equalizing as it discharges, they have to be drawing the same amount of current from each battery and that's the nature of the battery now this 3 amp 3 amp is not a uh, something that we built into the battery it is a natural occurrence of the way that electrons flow from the battery if they're connected in parallel so this is no matter what you do this is a situation they will both discharge at the same level and vice versa if you were to charge if we're charging let's turn the chart upside down not really <laughs> but if you're charging um, back the right around. If you're charging, same thing. We're charging it with a two amp charger. They're both going to see one amp each, and it's going to take you twice as long to charge. Same thing. The electrons, whether it's flowing out from the battery or flowing in from charging, they're going to be charged at the same level. Now, the only thing that you've got to be careful of when you parallel batteries is people have uh, you have heard or on the forums people are saying that they will discharge and charge amongst itself wasting energy damaging batteries and so forth that can happen if the voltage are different so for example you can have a 24 volt battery and a 12 volt battery now that remember the voltage will always equalize it's a natural occurrence the flow of electrons that's how it works so if you had a 24 volt for example on the left hand side and you got 12 volt Guess what? That, that 24 volt is going to rush in and try to get this 12 volt back up. And it's going to lose voltage while this one goes up. And it's going to be a big gush because 24 to 12 volt is a big difference. It's twice the voltage. So what you're going to have is a high current, which will most, most likely burn the leads and destroy this battery. This battery will definitely be destroyed, um, but not our battery because our battery have a battery management system. So in, let's say, a non-protected battery, you have 24 volts trying to rush in and charge a 12 volt, trying to bring it up, to trying to equalize it. And with that, you overcharge the battery and an uh, unprotected battery will blow up. If it's a lithium, you will blow up 
and you basically catch on fire okay because it's overcharged if it's a lead acid it'll boil it'll boil boil and fume and probably you know and, and your wires before the battery gets even destroyed your wires would have burnt out so your wire would act like a fuse your wires would definitely as soon as you plug a 24 volt to a 12 volt this is going to go and all the um, insulation is going to melt you're going to have smoke and yeah so that's not a good thing. So, but let's talk about keeping it at 12 volts. Can there be any other uh, risks associated with, with um, connecting to 12 volt, whether it's the same capacity or different capacity together? There is another thing that you must watch out, and this is very important, is let's say this is a full charge battery, and this is a flat battery, okay? You get the same situation happening. Let's say this is at 10 volts, 9 volts, 9.5. This is at, you know, fully charged voltage so let's say 12.6 12, 12 volts because these, these charge up 12.6 volts fully charged and they go down to about you know nine nine volts or so so let's say let's say you got 12 and 9 volts what's going to happen that 12 volts is going to jump across to try to charge the nine and when you've got like a th uh three volts of voltage that's also a big difference so you don't want that to ever happen um the current is going to try to jump across and that's not good you'd be uh, moving you used to be trying to charge that battery and yes you might uh, end up burning the, the the cable that's connecting it across here. Okay, the current's going to flow this way. So what you need to do is, when you parallel any battery, is to have it at the same voltage. Now, disregard capacity. Capacity is not important. It's the voltage that's critical. So these will be either fully charged. So what we do is, as good practice is, both your batteries are fully charged, ready for your fishing trip. Being both fully charged, they're both at the same voltage. And if it's like a matter of, look, 12.6, or for example, let's, let's say one is at 12 volts, one is at 11.8, 11.9. Not a big deal. That's that that's close. And then it'll take maybe you know a minute or so, and then they'll equalize anyway. So but if they're both fully charged from the charger, fresh, unplugged, even if you leave it, both of them sitting for a month, they should be both be um, at the same voltage anyway. But always charge it before you go fishing. And if you leave it for a day, a week, no problems whatsoever okay so the critical point is whenever you make a parallel connection just make sure that the voltage is the same at the point of connection at the point of connection whether you're using the battery or at the point of connection whether you're charging the battery when you make the point of connection that means when one plugs into the lead the other one plugs into the other lead that the battery voltage is the same if not you get that burst of high current Depending how high or how low is the voltage difference, okay? If it's 0.1 volt different, 0.2, 0 0.3, yeah, 0.5 volts, okay, it's acceptable that the current will, will, will flow. Yeah, a little bit of current will flow and you equalize in no time. But if it's like, you know, 1 to 2 to 3 volts or more, then you've gonna, you're going to have problems, all right? So let's move on to another scenario. Okay, <clears throat> this scenario is... The same six uh, amp load from your drawer. We've got a 17 and a half amp hour on the left hand side, and we've got our baby's FPV power, seven amp hour on the right hand side. Now, what's the difference here? The load drawer is the same, six amp. The capacity is different, but the voltage, like I said, if we make sure the, the rule of thumb is when you connect them up at the point of connection, make sure both the batteries are the same voltage. So once again, good practice is we've charged the 17 and a half and we've also charged the seven and a, and a half. So if some people might have the seven and a half battery and they decided, oh, it's great. Then you've got a bigger sounder. You've got more fishing at night. You're putting lights on. Then you decided you want to put a, um, a live well. Then of course your seven amp hour, uh, the needs or the seven amp hour, which did you well when you're running just a sounder now is running uh, would be flattened sooner than expected. So we need a bigger capacity and instead of buying another seven and a, and a half hour to get 14 you might go oh Let me go for the 17 and a half option the bigger brother So the question is can I parallel these together? Yes, you can provide it like we said from the beginning I've um, been saying since uh, the start of this video is make sure at the point of connection the voltage is the same now being the voltage is the same when you connect it up There's no current flowing Everything is nice and cool. Everything's ready to go so you've got your load six amp so how can how can these two now the way that uh, the law of electronics have will have it that they will both drain at the same level even though they're different capacity they will both 
drained at the same time. So the battery voltage at any given time will always be the same as it goes down. And they'll both hit rock bottom at the same time. Amazing, isn't it? So it is just exactly like if you have a, um, a water tank. Let me do another example. Let me just draw it here for you. Let me just quickly just jump in here. Let's say you've got a water piece of paper. There we go. Let's say you have a water tank here. This is the water tank. It's a big water tank. And let's say you have a smaller water tank. And it's connected with a pipe at the bottom, ground level. And the pipe comes out here, and that's your water in. That's where the water's going in. This could be, let's say, this could be a thousand liters. And this could be, let's say, maybe from the drawing, yeah, maybe 300 liters. So as you fill the water, being connected at the bottom, as you fill it up, guess what? They're both going to be at the same level. As it fills up, the level ain't going to change, correct? So now you can see what, what I mean by the voltage will always equalize. So it's full. Boom. They'll be both full at the same time and they'll be both empty at the same time because they're connected with a pipe at the bottom going in or if it's out, same thing. You're both you're draining. So in other words is, as you're draining, there'll be more output, more water passing through this point than this point. Understand? So there'll be more plus and there'll be less coming down. Oh, that's getting confusing. Let's not put negative positive here. But as you can see, they're, they're both getting emptied at the same level, but there has to be more capacity flowing out of here than over here. <clears throat> that's why is the case of this. There has to be more capacity flowing. Capacity is uh, current amp hours in this case so so from my calculation you should be getting about 3.6 amps leaving this battery 2.4 amps leaving this battery at any given time if you've got a six amp load so it's basically a ratio of the battery capacity that the internal the resistance of the battery uh, how many amps it gives so at this line if you do put a um, uh, amp meter you will read over here you will read six amps but if you put an amp meter here you read 3.6 amps approximately and you read 2.4 and the total of these two will equal to the 6 amp load so there you have it uh, in a nutshell well it's a bit of a big nutshell but um that's all so the conclusion of the matter is at the point of the parallel connection when you make the connection make sure both the batteries are at the same voltage that's all you need to know if that has been uh, adhered to, you have no problems whatsoever, no matter how many million times you do it. At the point of connection, the batteries are at the same voltage. You can parallel two batteries together. You can, this, this, uh, this rule, you can parallel 20 batteries together, 100 batteries together, as long as all the batteries, regardless of capacity, is at the same voltage at the, t at the point of connection everything will run beautifully and uh, the the loads and the amp and the current will be shared um, in ratio in proportion to each capacity so everything will run and that's how it's going to be and um, so there's no problems with doing what we've said parallel connection provided number one at the point of connection voltage is the same regardless of capacity thank you for your time